Yeah, guys, welcome again to Inner Yard Reggae. If you're tuning in right now, uh, it's 9 or 3, and uh, I'm telling you, we have an amazing show uh, lined up for you in terms of music, in terms of uh, the guest. And uh, previously, to look on a guest, I'm going to perform. I'm going to perform two of amazing jams. Uh, now, one is the one is one the latest, but I won't talk much right now. I just want to uh, Kidogo come introduce again. Welcome, Lucy, to Inner Yard. Thank you. Thank Thank you so much once again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah. maybe briefly, Une mm -hmm. Zambia, your fans, maybe who exactly is Lucy Lugano? Yeah, so Lucy Lugano is a musician, she's a mom, she's an artist. I love art, all kinds of art, um, and I'm an entrepreneur. I do interior decor, and I'm a fitness enthusiast. Yeah. I'm a lover of nature, yeah. I'm a friend, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's me, oh, generally. Uh, amazing, amazing, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah. We'll be talking about uh, you in fitness, you in interior uh, okay. decor. <laughs> but first of all, let's just talk about your music. You've been doing amazing in terms of your music. In Thank a nutshell, you. maybe you can tell us about uh, mm -hmm. your musical journey. Where exactly it, did it start to right now? Yeah. Okay. And that's a long story. It's starting to tumble. <laughs> Very briefly. <laughs> anyway, uh, I started uh, yeah. back in, my first song was in 2008. Yeah. Then I started with Zook. Yeah. And I was signed to, if I can remember the name of the label, Iconic Music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was still in campus, so, you know, I was, you know, finding my way around the industry. Yeah. And then I took a break after some time. Yeah. Then made a comeback. I recorded my first song again with Shamir yeah. called Butterfly. Mm -hmm. And then from then on, you know, I was still in the process of looking for my sound. Yeah. So I settled in reggae music, uh -huh. although I'm influenced by different sounds. Yeah. I love Neo Soul, I love R&B, yeah. jazz. You know, those, those, if you listen to my music, I've mixed in some of those sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your music mm. has a bit of uh, R&B, oh. soul. But what exactly, uh, what inspired you to decide, you know what, Lucy Lugano, I'll be doing reggae music? Uh, that's something I've grown up with ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. You know, I grew up in Taita. Ah. That's ah. my homeland. Kasinda Mana. <laughs> Kasinda Mana to ah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Taita, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so anyway, um, so my, my, my pops, my uncles, you know, yeah. just the people I grew up around. That was the music that used to play. Mm -hmm. So I think it just stuck in my head. And anyway, I loved it. So I love up here after high school, my jam session, Pali. Uh -huh. <laughs> so my jam session. Black Supremacy. It? Actually, that's where I got to know MC Full Stop, although we didn't know each other personally. Yeah. And, you know, coincidentally, it was part of the industry. So, yeah, basically... Reggae is something I've grown up with. Mm, amazing, mm. amazing. Yeah. Because you have that particular spirit of view in reggae music. Mm -hmm. uh, at a point, you shared the stage with uh, Janine. Oh, yeah. Oh my Tell goodness. us about that. Tell hey, us about thank that, you for actually. asking. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that. <laughs> anyway, um, she was performing at the Blue Door in Westlands. Okay. Actually, it was just before the lockdown yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I just found out from a fellow artist, mm -hmm. her name is Carrie, that mm -hmm. she was coming in town and she was actually, you know, opening up for her. Yeah. So thanks to a friend of mine called Stitchy, mm -hmm. I got a ticket and I went because I did I wasn't sure I'd make it. Yeah. And coincidentally a few years back I had just found out about Janine. Yeah. So I was listening to my music and playing it I mean her music, sorry, yeah, yeah. and playing it over and over again. Uh -huh. And then I fell in love with her. Yeah. And you know, when I would sing her music, just trying to learn her songs at yeah. home, I would yeah. always picture myself with, on stage with her. Okay. And it's so funny that that day, I, when, when she was performing a specific song, which I, was my favorite. Okay. You know, we just jumped on stage, me and a few friends of mine, and we sang along with her. Yeah. It was so... It was just crazy because that's exactly what I had been picturing for so long. Okay. So it's like I kind of manifested it. I don't know, you know, it was an amazing moment. Yeah. She's just a phenomenal woman. Amazing. So yeah, I, I feel so blessed to have met her and I hope to see her again and even do a song with her. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Janine yeah. is mm -hmm. quite an amazing uh, musical uh, person. Yeah? Yeah. And um, uh, about, um, you've, you've done some couples of songs and mm -hmm. uh, right now, Umetoka Kutu performed me um, 
a latest release. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. No worry. Tell mm -hmm. us about what exactly influenced you Kamo Joniaze Atujali. Mm -hmm. This time Atujali to kona saja. What happened? Yes, what definitely. influenced you? <laughs> um na wari niliandika 2020. Where your time? <laughs> 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 eh, and then you know coincidentally yeah. I was also on a spiritual journey. I just you know I I wanted to to really just grow spiritually. Okay. And so then it happened corona and everything and we are stuck at home. Okay. So I was thinking about how you know different people are feeling not just artists, <laughs> you know, um guys doing it to five, yeah. what will be a sharandogo, yeah. the children and yeah. I was just imagining it must be stressful for everyone because yeah. I myself was you know just trying to be still but it was wasn't easy. So that's how the song came okay. trying to encourage myself and in the process I figured you know what let me write something which won't just encourage me yeah. but but everyone else who listens to it and hopefully it inspires someone and then that that's how the song was born. Oh, amazing yeah. amazing. So mm -hmm. why why exactly from 2020 mm -hmm. and now we are in 2021 September <laughs> why the delay of that amazing tune or do you need to more fire from uh, Cali Rhythm? Why oh, exactly? Yeah. yeah, why was the delay of that? You know, I wrote the song, yeah, and then, in fact, like I said, I was writing it to console myself. I wasn't sure it's something I could release. Mm -hmm. And then I just one day went to studio, I recorded it, but you know, I did not want to release an audio. I wanted to release a video, a video. Okay. and so fans. Yeah. Especially at that time, yeah. were tricky. Uh -huh. But then, thank God, yeah. I met Stitchy, and yeah. you know, we just had a sit down. In fact, I had received a gift from him, the yeah. Roots Radio merchandise. Mm -hmm. of, yeah, so I requested him if I could wear it yeah. on the on on my video, and yeah. he said, you know, why don't I give you more of those, yeah. and also, you know, as Roots Radio supports your video. Yeah, because and it was just an amazing. Yeah, because the video, uh, sure, sorry to cut it short, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the video is very colorful with these hoodies from Roots yeah, Radio. Yeah. And also, uh, I saw Kathy in. Oh, yeah, Kathy Mateta. Yeah, I also requested <laughs> that to, to join him because, in fact, yeah. another thing that inspired Naori was her song Revolution. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, when, when she released the song, yeah. I had finished writing Nawari, mm -hmm. and my idea was, you know, a street kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw Revolution, I was like, this is close to what I'm thinking to mm -hmm. do about mm -hmm. Nawari. And I figured, you know, because it's, it's, it's in the same, same conscious vibes. Yeah. And she's my sister, so why don't I ask her to, you know, just make an appearance and support as well. Amazing. And she did, and it was just an amazing thing. So, you know, all those things, the logistics and planning, yeah. it needs time so that it comes out nice. So we did, we released it, we shot it um, at the beginning of this year. Okay. And so we released it maybe about a month later, okay. maybe in February. Okay. Yeah. And uh, because I've seen you in a couple of readings with um, Binti Africa, with mm -hmm. Kathy, with, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe should we anticipate more of your music, more of uh, collaborations, or oh, this yeah. time you're just running alone? No, actually, this time I'm, I'm doing a bit of more collabs. Okay. Except a song with a lady known as Becky Mudoni. Uh huh. Big up to Becky. Mm. I'm a good Yeah, twice. Big up to Becky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out to Becky. Yeah. And also Binti. Yeah. And then there's a group called Lioness. Mm -hmm. I, we, we were about to do a show and then again, Corona happened. Okay. But we are, we are going to come back. Yeah. Lioness on the rise. Okay. So, yeah, definitely you're going to see a lot of collabs from most of the female in this female reggae musicians female. in the industry yeah and also i'm going to do a song with natin why as well there uh -huh. are many artists i'm intending to do a collab with this year hopefully so be before, before the, the end, end of the, of the year, year i'll have released a couple couple of songs mm, yeah okay and uh, what exactly inspires you in terms of your music because uh you do uh Mm -hmm. positive music what exactly yeah. uh, drives you to decide you know this is my style of music ah okay so when i'm writing being a mom i think that's the number one thing that drives me okay you know i look at my daughter she knows all my songs word for word wow. so I, I would say she's my number <laughs> one fan so you know i look at her and i'm like i have to write something that you know when i sit back and watch her sing i'm also proud yeah and it, it it inspires her in some way yeah and not just her everyone else who listens to it it uh -huh. inspires someone yeah even an, an uh, one you know an artist who wants to you know come out yeah inspires them to also you know do something with their talent okay something that moves someone something relatable because most of my songs come from 
you know, my own experiences, other people's. Yeah. So something which people can relate to, something yeah. which will encourage them, uplift them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've been writing a lot of love music, mm -hmm. but I'm now trying to get into your more conscious music, okay. you know stuff about life other I mean, than love yeah 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 mm. yeah, yeah and <laughs> briefly just uh because you have you you umekuja na mgeni pia in the yes, studio yes. right mm -hmm. yeah and um you've talked about roots and mm -hmm. all yeah briefly maybe uh stitchy yes. that is the name right yes, yeah yes, maybe ni mm. mtambai at the moment uh, you're working with maybe in terms of um, mm -hmm. uh, like a management or what exactly? Yes, he is my manager. Okay. And also, you know, it, it just started since um, the release of Nawari. Yeah. But I met him a long time ago in 2017. Okay. He actually, his one who noticed me performed, I was performing at um, Memorial Park. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So that's when he noticed me and he actually gave me. Uh, he likes giving people <laughs> this, let me just say that. More to tell you how I am So he, he gave me this rasta color necklace. Yeah. And you know, so I was so moved because, you know, I've performed in many places, but you know, for someone to give you something and tell you, hey, your, your performance was amazing. Yeah. And ever since then, he's been so supportive because okay. it's not just me, it's so many artists. I'm sure when Kina Kathy come here, Kina, yeah. they'll tell you mm -hmm. all about him. And, and so, you know, after Roots, I mean, sorry, not Roots, Nawari, the collab yeah. with Nawari and Roots, yeah. you know, the kind of support he gave me, and you know, he's always been supportive. I figured, you know, because I've been looking for management, I figured, why not? work with someone who I know who understands you know my craft and yeah. understands the artist struggles because that's what Roots Radio is about it's called the industry microphone uh -huh. so Roots is about supporting homegrown talent okay. Kenyan talent so I figured that's the best place to be best yeah. person to work with so yes I work with Stitchy yeah. as my manager amazing yeah. amazing mm -hmm. I believe Stitchy um, you're most welcome to come at this yard every time everything which is amazing you want to drop you can always come and I believe Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but uh, for uh, for people who are watching you, young girls who mm -hmm. uh, they enjoy your music, uh, who want to be like Lucy Ligano, what exactly can you tell them for mm -hmm. millions of Kenyans right now watching you? Yeah, I would say um, the number one thing for me is definitely God. Yeah. That's, that's my everything. There's nothing I can do without him. You know, sometimes you try and you know figure things out on your own yeah but you can't and i've had to learn you know some things the hard way yeah so for me my spiritual is has to be you know very very straight yeah because it's it's the thing that guides every other thing that's your camera i really i really wish you you just look oh, yeah, at yeah, that yeah. camera and yeah, tell so, them so yeah. you know <laughs> for me spirituality is important yeah and i'm a believer of christ so specifically that and believing in God mm -hmm. and also being true to yourself mm -hmm. that's just the most important thing especially in this industry mm -hmm. you know it's easy to try and be something you're not yeah. with that you know you could be pressured to be that way you know I don't know for the sake of making it and, and for the lights shining. and all that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you have to know who you are and whose you are mm -hmm. and what you want yeah. out of your music why you're doing what you're doing yeah that way it's not easy to be you know, misled or find yourself becoming someone you're not. Because even if you're passionate about the talent, but mm -hmm. you're not true to yourself, you're not going to enjoy the journey. So when you're true to yourself mm -hmm. and you put God at the center and mm. fast, uh -huh. yeah, and yeah, and then the passion, the passion is important because, you know, I know there are people who are in it for the money. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's definitely important and necessary, but... I think the passion is very you know, it's about that. So yeah, the passion, God first, the passion, and true to yourself. Mm. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. God first, mm -hmm. the passion, and be true to yourself. Those yeah. are wise words mm -hmm. from Lucy Lugano. And uh, maybe Lucy, before we finalize, because you know we have curfew. This is Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe uh, to people who want to interact with you, mm -hmm. to know you, to know your, maybe what you're doing tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, where exactly you'll be performing, where can uh, Kenyans find you? Uh, you find me on Instagram, yeah. 
I'm actually more active there on yeah. Instagram as Lucy.Lugano. Mm -hmm. My YouTube channel is Lucy Lugano. On Facebook, it's Lucy Lugano and all other digital streaming platforms. Amazing. That's where you amazing. find my music, yeah. I'm super excited to have you again, thank you, Lucy. Thank you too for I believe, I believe, Stitchy Mukifanya another music. You'll be coming here, right? Yeah. So, so uh, we are very, very happy to have Lucy in the studio, and uh, Lucy will be performing uh, her, an amazing tune. Ambayo ameitwa too juicy, and by nature mm -hmm. no worry. Ambayo our DJ will be coming and uh, giving us the play. And my DJ, kindly, kindly, if you can come on the set, do. <laughs> Kwa sababu wendo meivaizi vitu. <laughs> ya kidogo kama Lucy aneza to perform here before I ended, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Take it away, Reg.